Hey guys, welcome back, or bomb here, bringing you another episode of our PTGO live content. Attempt number three of recording this video, I'm a little bit frustrated. If I seem a little bit on edge, forgive me. But uh, it's a new original deck, I'm pretty excited about playing it. Uh, drop a like if you haven't already, subscribed to all the good jazz, and today, people, today, you guys saw the thumbnail, it's something a little bit interesting. Uh, we are playing, hold on, let me find it, uh, let me find it. <laughs> we are playing Coco Decidueye. Um, a fun new deck. I've, ha I've had a lot of fun and success with this deck. We all know what Decidueye does with Feather Arrow, we spam that. We all know what Coco does with Flying Flip, we spam that. And um, that's the whole basis of the deck, really. And then if you're playing against the right decks, which is a lot of them in our current meta, you Miraculous Shine for knockout, a bunch of knockouts at once. And it's just really, overall, this is a really cool deck. Um, but before we get into the thorough details of the deck, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, share all the good jazz. I remember if this video does get, um, let's say, actually, no, it's just, if you guys drop a like and comment, uh, you have a chance of winning a couple of codes. So go ahead, answering the comment question of the day. Uh, today's question of the day will be With Burning Shadows being released, what cards are you upset that, that didn't make it to the Burning Shadows uh, list? To me, since Burning Shadows was released in Japan, I'm very upset that we didn't actually get a a Lolan Marowak of any variant, even a GX or a non GX, like it's really frustrating because it's Burning Shadows, like that's like the set to release an Alolan Marowak, but we didn't get one. Alolan Marowak is like my second favorite Alolan Pokemon, so it's really upsetting that we didn't get it, but regardless, let's talk about the deck list. Um, we already know what it goes over, like in our current meta, where we have like a lot of decks ruling the format that have low HP, or at least their evolutions have low, or their baby evolutions have low HP, like Vesuquin, Combee's easy to knock out, Zoroark, Zoro is easy to knock out. Um, Metagross, Beldum's easy to knock out, um, and decks like that, Ninetales, Vulpix is easy to knock out, things like that, uh, it's, it's overall just like, it's really, really easy to just flying flip for a couple turns, and then whenever you're good, you Miraculous Shine, which is why we're playing two Miraculous Shines, four Cocos, hopefully we can lead with them more often, and we were playing a 4-4-4 four, four, four line of Decidueye, two Shamans because Sky Returning a lot, we'll keep keeping that DC in our hand, our Choice Banner in our hand. Our, even our flow stone in our hand is very, very, very powerful. Um, two Lele's because energy drive against those bigger basic Pokemon, like Darkrai and uh, Vul Vulcanian. It's really nice to have this top of Lele because like, uh, usually they have to have three energies attack, Darkrai, Tox uh, to Topic Coco GX. Uh, Darkrai only has to have two, but that with, combined with Choice Band, combined with energy attachments to Lele, can get some knockouts combined with Feather Arrow. Mm, that's about the Pokemon line though. We have one field blower. I did originally play two, but one is fine. Like I've, I found that one is perfectly okay. Two level balls, one revitalizer, one special charge, four ultra balls and four VS seekers. I was playing trainer mail, but I kept never landing the trainer mail. And in the Garbodor matchup, it was just it just sucked had not having trainer mail. Uh, four forests, one Lysander because we're sniping a lot. There's not really need for two Lysanders. Three ends and four sycamores for consistency. Uh, two choice bands at first i was not that big of a fan of choice band but then lele came in clutch a lot so choice band's pretty good um three float stones so we constantly have retreat options four dce and four grass energy that's the deck list guys let's go ahead and get ourselves a couple of matches and hopefully i can get this recorded so i can upload this by uh saturday that way i can have this uploaded by saturday and a um <coughs> a mlpb uh, Major League Pack Battle going up on Sunday, or is it set? I forget. No, Sunday's my release day, right? The 18th? Yeah. And um, man, that's going to be a fun one. Hopefully we win, because we won the first round, which is pretty dope. I want to win all my rounds now. I want to see if my luck can be real, or at least my opponent can get worse luck than me. <laughs> that's the goal, right? It's not about being lucky. It's about your opponents being unlucky. That's the goal in Major League Pack Battle. Um, but let's see if we can get some decent cards here. Nice. We got the Coco lead. Uh, hand is okay, it's not the greatest, but it's not the worst either. I think I'd rather play N, just because of the Revitalizer. Hopefully my opponent will play N for me, though. We are drawing extra cards. Ooh, we're playing Alakazam. That's interesting. <laughs> That's not great. Um, weird matchups. Weird matchups for sure. How do I beat Alakazam? I don't really know. I can devolve Alakazam, but that helps him. Mm, I think Lele is my, my ticket here. Oh, Alakazam Coco, I see you. Lele might just be my ticket to victory this time around. He's going to play Balloons as well, so I don't attack him. 
Interesting play. Is he stuck? He seems pretty stuck if he's not playing anything right now. Either that or he just has a really bad connection. I understand both. I truly do. What's going on my Discord? Hey guys, go ahead and just uh, join the Discord. My Discord. It'd be pretty dope. We apparently have a lot of people here just talking. Alright, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll do that here. Alright, you played Sky. What did you get with Skyla? I actually didn't see. Did you get Ultra Voltage just now? Uh... He, he got Ultra Ball with the Skylight. He's getting rid of the Max Potion. Good, 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 good. Get rid of all your Max Potions. And a Bursting Balloon as well. Very good. Get rid of all those as well. All that stuff is in my way. Shaman. Okay. Alright. We can knock out Shamans. Shamans get hit for weakness whenever we attack them directly. So, uh, Choice Band means we don't knock them out, but we get really close. Drawing three more cards. Uh, I don't think he'll sky return. I don't, does this man play DCE? Because I was thinking about playing Coco Alakazam, but then I had to play DCE, and I was like, I don't want to play DCE and Coco. Like, <clears throat> I don't want to play DCE and Alakazam, I mean. Good, he's stuck. We'll, we'll, we'll take advantage of it. Okay, so sky returning with my Shaman isn't bad because it puts it back into my hand. So what I'm going to do here... All right, don't, don't disconnect on me, please. Is I'm going to play Shaman down because I'm hopefully going to sky return it this turn. That's the goal, at least. Seeker. All right, now we definitely have to play N, which sucks because he seems pretty stuck, and I don't want to play N, but I don't want to lose my Revitalizer because it's definitely going to come in clutch later in the game. Um, there's my... Okay, cool, cool. This works out. We get a second Rowlet on the field, which is good. Let's see what's prized. We have all of our... We have one Dartrix prize, all of our Decidueye. Uh, how many DCs prized? A DC, one DC and one Grass Energy prized. And I don't know what else. Some other stuff too. Not really paying too much attention right now. But this is good because it puts everything back into our hand that we might need for later. I can Ultra Ball later for cards. Um, for like, what's it called? For cards like, um, like Dart Tricks and stuff like that. I need Floatstone. I was considering putting things like Mallow and Skyla into this deck specifically because Milo specifically because I'd be drawing a lot with Shaman but uh, I use Shaman to put cards back into my hand a lot which is why I don't actually want to play Mallow and Skyla I, I might want to play Skyla because getting Skyla using Skyla to get force is always super duper nice he's playing Ninja Boy here what's he getting with Ninja Boy oh Alakazam he's getting rid of the Shaman okay I was about to say is he gonna Tauros me wild uh, but that's a supporter for the turn he's gonna play repeat ball to get another Zam that's scary. Um, but now we can start doing our flying flip, which is kind of handy. I need to start evolving though. That's the biggest thing. And I don't know if I, I don't have Sycamore down there, so I might just drop Lele to get some uh, delicious stuff. Max potions, whatever. Like that, that, that's not my primary target, so I actually don't care about that. The more cards he wastes, the better. I have to evolve though, because he can actually knock out my relics if I'm not careful. Ooh, field blower would be pretty dope here for that. Wait a minute, how is he evolving this turn? Oh, because he ninja boy, that's right. Oh, that means something that means my no, I'm not getting knocked out yet. But I have to evolve this one now. That's fine. Not a big deal. Because he's stuck. I'm assuming his last card is not a draw supporter, because he's playing a weird deck, but I could be wrong. Lysander into Zam, because that's a one retreat cost. Or oh, I could do Alexam instead. Do I want a Lysander? I don't think I want a Lysander. Um, I really don't think I do. Let's Ultra Ball away this. Am I playing Sycamore this turn? I'm playing, I'm probably playing N this turn. Um, I don't want to lose Choice Band though. Hold on. Actually, you know what? We're going to play, uh, I think one way or another we have to play Sycamore this turn. I have to lose my special, I don't want to lose my special charge. I don't. Um, all right, Shaman, it's been fun. I know there's another one of you in the deck. Um, for a fact, I know there's one of you in the deck. I have to play end this turn. I don't want to drop Lele yet, though. So I'm probably not going to. I'm going to play N anyways. Might as well save the choice band. I Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to play N. Oh, no, I don't want to play N, actually. Mm. I'll put N back in the deck. No. I forget, this is why I was thinking about not playing N, because I want to play Sycamore this turn. I'm going to spend this turn Lysandering, how about that? 
Spend this turn life saving. See what my opponent's gonna do next turn and then attack appropriately. Uh, he can knock me out if he evolves this upcoming turn, which is what I'm worried about. Hopefully he's stuck. Do extra damage to the um, to this right here. Hopefully he's stuck. Please be stuck. Don't be not stuck. Um, yes, he doesn't have any draw support. There we go. This is what I see. The Sidui, perfect. And I don't want to play N. I don't want to play Sycamore. Flying flip this for another 50. Let's just attack that Mega in the back. Actually, if I, t if I knock this thing out, um, 50 this turn, and then another 50 next turn for knockout. Flying flip, yeah, we'll do this. He's stuck. Uh, now we get to knock him out next turn if he doesn't Mega Evolve or find an out. That top deck was real, I'm not gonna lie. Like That top deck was super helpful. I don't want to play N. I don't want to play Sycamore because I don't want to lose my special charge. And I also don't want to play N because I don't want to give him cards. So I'm like, I'm in this, I'm stuck. I mean, I can play Sycamore because I have Hollow Hunt here, but I, st I don't want to anyways. Okay, now I can play N probably a little bit safer because he just Sycamore. So now I'm a little bit more okay to play N is what I want to see. Let's see if he can retreat though. He needs to have a DCE or Mega Evolve and a single attachment if he wants to retreat. He's gonna get rid of my choice band, which sucks because now I can't knock him out next turn unless I get another Decidueye. But it's not the biggest deal in the world. He already played like, what, three max potions? Only two, never mind. What did, what did he just play? He played the Altar. Oh, that means he just had to attach a Psychic Energy and retreat. Altar's good in this deck, bro. Giving you free retreat options is always really nice. Oh, please don't have a monster small hand again. I'm trying to end you and not feel bad about it. <laughs> All right, you're stuck though, right? No attachments, nothing. You good? You good? Can I can I go? No, he's got the Zam Spirit Link. Ugh, what a pain. And he has the Mega Zam too. What a pain. All right, well at least he doesn't get a knockout here unless he attacks with Coco. Like, he has to attack with Coco if he wants to knock out. But even if he knocks out, like, Rowlet, it's fine. I already have the Sidui down. And I'm definitely, definitely putting a lot of damage on the board, so I'm okay. I think it's time that I, I think I have to play Sycamore. Maybe not. We'll see what we can do. Oh, and... <sighs> Why you gotta make things so complicated? Mm. I have to attack him twice, so I'm not actually going to attack. I'm not gonna Feather Arrow the active. I think I'm gonna Feather Arrow... Megazam? I don't want to play N. I'll play Sycamore here. Maybe I can get another Decidueye line. That could be pretty handy. Uh, I don't like losing this N and Spirit of a thing, but he's not taking knockouts quickly enough for me to feel bad. But we just whiffed, so that's cool. Um, we'll attach a Grass here. Another thing here. Uh, I'll Field Blower away this. And just his Spearlings, because um, devolving is a problem for him, and if he tries to devolve this, then uh, we'll be in a good position. I don't have a DC I want to attach this turn, so no Skyla yet, or no, no Shaman yet. We'll damage that, and yeah, we'll just go ahead and continuously flying flip. I want to make it difficult for him to uh, devolve. I guess I probably should have done it here, and Feather Arrowed here if I wanted to make it that difficult. I'm just hoping he can't attack. He has Balloon. Balloon's not a big deal. Oh, that means he can't retreat. Or at least he's counting on retreating. Uh, I'm hoping he whiffs. Whiff your Psychic Energies, bro. He, he has a one retreat cost. He's going to attack me with this, knocking out my Rowlet. I can't believe I whiffed my Level Ball, my Ultra Balls, and my Dartrixes. Mm, that's not great. I've been whiffing a lot with this deck, even though I have so many outs. I whiff the cards I need at the exact moment of times. Maybe it's just my luck. I know my luck's been pretty bad lately. So maybe that's just what it is. But like, think about it. I have four Ultra Balls. I guess technically three because I played one. I have up to three Ultra Balls, one Level Ball, and I think I had one Dartrix prize. So two Dartrix. That's like, what, six outs? That's a lot of outs, bro. My opponent's playing super slow too. So like, thank you for making my video way too long. Alright, 
let's see. People are just howling like they're, they're going back and forth in the house. And if you hear a bunch of background noise, that's what it is. Forgive me. Things have been a little bit rough without my car. And what just fell? Oh, that's just somebody coming in while I'm recording. Thank you. Close the door, please. All right, they're stuck, which is good. We have Choice Man, which is amazing. It's an extra 40 damage. That is not a knockout unless we get a second Decidueye. This is coming in clutch. I'm actually gonna keep attacking with this. Uh, we can drop Shaman here for three cards. We can always Sky Return Shaman later, so I'm not too worried about dropping Shaman. There's our DCE. This is our Forest. DCE drop on to, I think Lele, since everything's gonna be in range pretty soon. And I end here, because I don't wanna lose Lele and or Sycamore right now. Second Decidueye, please. Finally, thank you. All right, so we have two Decidueyes now, which means he's gonna have a hard time knocking us out. At this point, we kind of win, because he's he's just really in a bad position. We can knock out the active, but I like the active being there. I'm not gonna lie. He has a Turtonator. Why? Why do you have a, t oh, sure, Shell Trap? That's adorable. And he does play DCE. It's uh, So many things are weird right now. 20, 40. I can get a knockout on that Coco. I don't feel like it's necessary. I hit this thing for 40, for 50, right? So one Feather Arrow to the active. I guess we'll Feather Arrow the Shell Trapper as well. No, we'll, we'll, we'll continuously knock that out because these are going to be knocked out at some point too. We'll flying flip for knockout. Dope. We'll get two prizes here. Hopefully we get two decent prizes, some DCEs. I'm, I think I had one DCE prize. There, yeah, that's what I thought. So cool. DC is good. We can attach with the Shaman, the Coco, or, um, or this for bigger knockouts. He goes into his own Coco, but this Coco will be knocked out next turn because it's a threat to me. There's a Spear Link, which is whatever, because he can't evolve this turn. Rescue Stretcher, he, he can't evolve this turn, so I don't know why he's getting these things. Unless he's putting cards just back in his deck. Yeah, he's just putting them back into his deck. Never mind. All right, so this will be knocked out because I don't want him to damage my board. I like how we're playing like a weird, almost mirror match. Ultra Ball. Okay, what's he getting with Ultra Ball? If there's another Shaman, that's good for me. Because if I can top deck a Seeker, I can get a Lysander and then knock that out. And then that would pretty much solidify game. Because I'm doing, I'm hitting it for 100. One Feather Arrow there, Feather Arrow here. And that's pretty much GG for my opponent. Because then he has to, because, and then I'm also knocking this out. So Feather Arrow here and here. Then all I have to do is Feather Arrow this a couple of times for game. He's on a Field Blower. Oh, my Choice Band. Oh, never mind. I forget I said anything. I think that's both my Choice Bands now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's both my Choice Bands. Rip. Okay, well, never mind. That play doesn't exist anymore. It kind of does, though, because I can still DCE and attack this for another prize, but now I'm not attacking the whole board like I was doing. He's going to end me, so that sucks. Uh, especially since I have all these forests in my deck. They're not pretty good. They're pretty useless right now. Uh, grass energy is not great either. I guess it gives me hollow hunt options, and I can hit for harder with uh, Lele, which I think is something I have to do. But uh, I guess we can knock this out here. With the arrow of this. I guess we'll force him to uh, get rid of that Shaman on the bench. And we'll knock out the active. He has no, he only has energy attached to his bench to Zam, which is actually a threat. This is about to be in range of being knocked out. In fact, man, if I held on to that grass energy, let's see what we top deck here. Actually, it doesn't matter because I just knock out everything with this now, <laughs> pretty much. Like that gets knocked out, this gets knocked out. This doesn't, this does? I hit for 60 with, yeah, that does. So like everything's in range of just this Lele right here. Kinesis, so that's going to be knocked out in a second. Yeah, he made the good play. Let's see if he Lysanders me. I need a light. Where are my Seekers? There are three Seekers in the deck. Come on, game. Give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. And this man's going to spread more damage. 
And don't tell me you have Lysander. Actually, it doesn't matter if you have Lysander. It does matter if you have. No, it doesn't because he didn't attach to the bench. Did he have Lysander down there? He does not. Okay, never. Oh, he does have Lysander down there. So why did he do that? He could have knocked me out this turn. He's going to play N. Thank you. Okay, let's see if this N can actually hook me up because I'm kind of stuck right now. A Lysander would be great right now. No. Actually, we kind of get Lele. I know there's not, either there's a there's not a shame in the deck, but there is a Lele in the deck, so we can get Lele. He is gonna de evolution spray, which is great for me. De evolve this one. Oh, he's gonna de evolve that one. All right, that's fine. Um, he can evolve this turn, which is good. I could play N if I wanted to. I don't really want to though. Dope. So he gets one prize. We go into our own Coco. And I think we just start getting knockouts, potentially. We knock this out, I think. Oh, we got Seeker. Hmm. That changes a couple things. Seeker will get me Lysander. This is coming. This is about to be knocked out. Soon. Uh, I can knock this out right now. And he can revenge knock me out, right? And then, I get an, and then I'll knock out something with my Deciduous. Okay, so now he can't devolve this ever. I think I just Lysander here and knock out Shaman. 20, 40, 60. Yeah, I think I think I knock out Shaman this turn. Before he Sky returns it. Gotta take the knockouts while they're hot. While they're hot. Well Lysander here. He's gonna knock something out next turn. Probably Lele. So I'm actually gonna play down a Dartrix now. Or just Rowlet now. And I'm gonna Lysander out this Shaman. Because that's going to be knocked out soon. Uh, if I get a second Dartrix, if I get a second Decidue, I mean, like if I get my Dartrix is what I'm trying to say, then I actually knock it out next turn for game. Unless he knocks out a Decidue or plays Hex. There's a Seeker. Oh, nice. Okay, that should be game unless he ends me. He's probably going to end me because this is his better play. But uh, if he doesn't end me, that's game. Mega Evolving into an attack will knock out my Lele. Will knock out anything that he wants to knock out, really. I don't know what else he's going to put damage on. Maybe just Decidueye, just because. No, it's Shaman, All right, He's working on knocking out Shaman. He's not going to be able to. Let's see if he plays N. Don't play N, bro. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Please don't do it. I have no Grass Pokemon discard power for me to Revitalizer, so... Actually, I'm pretty sure I threw away Revitalizer, didn't I? No, that was Special Charge I threw away. That's right. Turtonator, no ends, right? No ends? No ends? Yeah. <laughs> it's what? It's such an ex experimental deck. I don't like it. Are we good? How many seekers? Oh, there's a seeker. All right. How many seekers has he played now? Um, was that his only seeker? Oh, he's playing Skylight. He's not playing in. That's GG then. What's he doing? Is he gonna devolve this for game? That'd be funny. He hits for what? 30 damage for each damage counter, and I have 90, so 92, 90, 180, 270, 270 damage, that's funny, 280 damage. What's this man doing? What's he doing? He got Shrine of Memories. He's gonna attack me with a second attack? I'm so confused. He just gets a knockout here. What's I don't, I don't understand what's happening, guys. I'm sorry. This first game is weird. Uh, I'm I'm very sorry. This first game is weird. But we we win, so it doesn't matter. I think we win, right? I don't see a reason why we don't win. Feather arrow. Feather arrow. And, oh, we don't have forest. That's why we don't win. Interesting. Um, I can't Lysander. I can't Shaman. He could win this game still. I have to grab forest this turn with a potential revitalizer. There's 23 cards left in the deck. How confident am I feeling right now? How confident am I feeling right now? I'm not feeling great. We're gonna do it anyways though. 
All I need is Forest Revitalizer or Forest Decidueye. That's all I need. Or, you know, a DCE to attack with Coco. Dang it. Yeah, it sucks. We don't get the game done. <sighs> okay, this is what I mean by luck has not been great lately. He has to win next turn or he loses. Like, that's just how, how it is. All it is. Um, he can evolve. He can't knock out this and this at the same time. I can't believe I whiffed, though. That sucks. I'm trying to think of what I can discard. I don't want to discard these, but... Because I'm trying to thin out the deck in case he ends me. And then he finds a way to turn off abilities. Um... I think I have another Coco in the deck. Yeah, I should have one more Coco in the deck. Yeah, let's just thin out the deck a little bit. And it's prize. No, it's not prize. Never mind. It is. Um, we'll grab Coco here. That thins out the deck a bit. And uh, I'm pretty upset that I whiffed. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty upset that I whiffed. I don't want to put any two prize attackers active. He has like all these seekers left though. He has like two seekers left. So he can Lysander. But the thing is, even if he Lysanders, I'm trying to think of a way that he can take four prizes this turn. I just don't see it. Because he only does 30 damage to the Bench Shaman. Which means if he, if he wants to attack with Coco, he could knock out a Shaman, but he can't knock out anything else besides Shaman. Because he's only going to do 20 damage to the Coco and then an extra 20 damage. Yeah, there's a Lysander. That's fine. Um, that's not a big deal. He can attack me if he wants. But... In the end, I just feather arrow this one more time for game. Man, I had so many fours in my deck too. Look, I had three fours in my deck and I whiffed them all. <laughs> how did I? How did that happen? How did that even happen? I wanted to show off like some meta decks. That's that was like my goal today was to show off some decks that could actually compete in the meta. Like, I didn't want to battle this. I want to battle some Metagross or some Zoark. <laughs> Something, like, actually really, really good. And, yeah, we Feather Arrow for game. Not really not really sure why he dragged that out and made the game 27 minutes long. Like, that was the longest game of my life, bro. Come on. <laughs> yeah, let's get one more game. Hopefully we can find, like, a good deal. Like, I just spent, like, the first couple of recordings every time. My audio was, like, messed up. My microphone was completely disconnected. Now, even though it shows it was connected, it was disconnected, which is why I had to like redo my recordings. All right, guys, we're back. Sorry about that. I had to cut out that game that I was playing. It was against Honchkrow Decidueye. No, Honchkrow Coco. Honchkrow Coco. Easy win. But um, uh, <laughs> I had to take a phone call, and that phone call ended up taking me taking 15 minutes. So I played in the background. I figured like, why I speed it up and be awkward, and I could just cut out the whole game because it wasn't an interesting game. So yeah, let's see if we can get a good game. Because I'm getting really frustrated getting like these bad matchups. I want to play against a good deck, and we're playing against some water fighting deck. Ugh, can I play like something meta? Like please? That's the whole reason why I'm doing this video. Okay, so I think I'm gonna grab Sycamore this turn. Oh my god. Apparently no, we can't play against anything meta. Not today. Um not today. Let's grab Rowlet. What's prized? We have a Decidueye prized. How many DCEs prized? All of our DCEs, we have a Grass Energy prized. Looks like we have some Draw Sports prized as well. I think Lysander's prized also. All right, let's see if we can make this work. I don't know what we're playing against, but hopefully we can make this quick. This I don't want to make long videos anymore because the longer videos get a lot less views than usual than the rest of them. Oh crap, well at least you got Decidueye this turn. Do I want a Sycamore? I guess I do. Because like, at this point, I'm just kind of done mentally. Just give me a Sycamore. Like, I just want to. I just want these games to end quickly. So I'll, I'll play cards to make it end quickly. I'm losing Seeker and I'm losing End. So I'm losing a lot of draw support. And I'm losing Special Charge, but that's whatever. We can Hollow Hunt. Thank you. Thank you for doing that, sir. Whoever you are, you are a blessing. Thank you. Oh, we got Guardians Rising Pack. We can open those on the, on the stream. Like, we always open our packs. <laughs> Where's I bring the luck, dude? I bring the luck. If you're watching these videos, dude, where are you at, bro? 
Even though I did pull a shame on live stream the other day, which I have to give away. I'm, I'm probably gonna be doing a giveaway. It's like a donation giveaway. Since I'm getting people that donate a lot, I kind of want to give back. So, um, <clears throat> I think once, if you ever do, okay, you know, I'm probably gonna make it a Discord exclusive. How about that? I don't have to do it during stream, but it can be something done during Discord. Uh, donations that happen on live streams or like super chats or whatever you want to call it. Uh, they're pretty dope and I appreciate everybody for doing it. Uh, so what I'm going to start doing in its stead is that uh, every time you donate like a dollar to the channel, I'm going to be putting you in for an entry for a probably a monthly giveaway. And then um, I'll probably start that soon. Very soon. Um, and then at the at the end of the month, I'll be giving away a card. The first card I'm giving away is going to be a Full Art Shaman EX. Because I just pulled an extra Shaman, so now I have an extra Shaman to do that with. So Shaman EX is going to be the first one. And uh, so far, Mr. Friday, uh, Bard Boy, and, and um, Patrick all have donated. Uh, donated a good amount of money, so they all have a couple of points. I believe they have like... I know about Patrick because I have to count up Patrick's Patrick's donations since that day. But um, I know Bart. Oh, finally a good matchup. I know Bard Boy has donated five dollars, and um, Mr. Friday's donated like five or six dollars, something like that. And that was just like the other day at the stream. So I think I want to start doing that. That seems like a, that seems like a decent idea. That way, because I know they all have Discord. At least I'm pretty sure they do. If they don't, then I'm probably gonna have to talk to Mr. Friday because I know Bard Boy does. And I know Patrick does. I know they're both on my Discord. By the way, if you go and join the Discord, any of the live stream videos in the description, that, oh, where's my, oh, if I had Forest right now. If I had Forest right now, that would've been dope. Um, I know that in the description of the videos, um, there is a link to the Discord. It's a permanent link now, so that's pretty handy. Okay, so what I need to do is off the Sycamore, get Forest and Revitalizer. Or a way to get the remaining Pokemon. Because, and DC, because we can actually win <laughs> this turn. Unless he plays his own forest. But um, because Coco can hit everybody for 20 and the Sigilite can snipe, I can knock these two out. Or I could just knock this out right there and then try to devolve these later. I don't know. We'll figure out what my best play is based on that. I kind of want to knock out the Vespaquins because they're the bigger threat. But I need I need a good, the right combination of cards. And having three of you down, not too bad. But I don't want. I want to attach DC this turn 100%. So hopefully I don't regret it. it looks like I regret it. Um, slightly regretting it. Drop Lele for nothing. Um, Shaman, hook me up, please. Pretty please. I think I need Skyla in this deck. There's so many times in the, in these games where I'm just like, I wish I had Skyla, and this is one of them. Now Zoroark's gonna blow me away. Mm, this is such a pain. Why you gotta be so difficult, game? Flying flip here. Yeah, I think I need Skyla. Because if I had Skyla, that could have got me Revitalizer. And, like, Skyla's too important. So I think I'm gonna drop one of my Seekers for a Skyla. Because, like, I can get so many good things with a... Oh, that's pretty okay. I, I could have gotten Revitalizer there. Choice Band in future matchups. Floatstone in future matchups. Um, gets me out of being stuck by like a turn, I guess. Um, if I want to draw a lot, I can get my special charge. Like here, it's like whatever. Like I don't need these cards. I'm going to Sycamore, which is bad. But uh, he doesn't have Zoark yet. I have two. Dis I have well, I have a bunch of Dartrix, but I'm losing another Decidui, which means that I have to get Revitalizer if I want to put down a bunch of Decidueyes. Ooh, easy knockouts. Um, I'm gonna Ultra Ball anyways for my last Dartrix. I don't have forest here. Dope. Let's get Dartrix number three. Um, it's my last Dartrix, and we only have one Decidueye left, which means we absolutely need Revitalize. I don't even know if Revitalize is in the deck. I should have checked, uh, to be honest. All right, but this is this is one of those matchups that are like Zoark, Vespaquin. This is a popular deck. This is a good deck right now. Uh, no Revitalizer yet. Oh, we already have a forest down. Wait a minute, we already had a forest down? I discarded the Decidueye? Oh, he had a. Did it, hold on, I'm dumb if that's the case. Forgive me. I definitely misplayed if that's the case. Decidueye. 
Where is my revitalizer? Let's see if it's even in the deck. I don't even think it's in the deck to be. Yeah, I should have checked. It's not even in the deck, so we have to get prizes if I want to have a chance of getting it. Luckily, we have plenty of draw support. Uh, we'll feather arrow. Who we feather arrow? We're going to feather arrow this um, thing in the bench. Because this puts in range of Lele. Uh, this Vesquin, I mean. And now we get two knockouts here. So please get me Revitalizer. Decidu I'll take Decidueye. Now can I get a Revitalizer as well? Ah, so close. It's okay. We knock out Zorua next turn if he can't evolve it. Combi gets knocked out. Uh, he needs to get he needs to get another Vesquin. Um So like Decidueye is already a good matchup, but combine that with Coco and we got an amazing matchup here. I need another Coco down, that could be ideal. Um Bursting Balloon's interesting. I guess he's going to attack with this this turn. I don't know why he would do that otherwise. But you, sir, will be knocked out. Coco. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to attach. Enning doesn't really do much. I think Sycamore is the play. How many grass energies are gone? We still have one more grass energy in the deck. Uh, we'll Sycamore. All we need is one, and then we can Hollow Hunt. So... Actually, I don't know why. I'm, lo I'm looking for DCE. Yeah, there it is. I was about to say, I don't know why I did that. I remembered I need DCE. Um, so now I'm okay. How many double colors are down here? Just one. All right, we'll give it an extra turn. Okay, so what's being knocked out? 2040. I can actually knock out the Zoark and a bunch of other Pokemon. So we're going to do that. We're going to get three prizes here, I believe. Because, no, we won't. We'll get two prizes. 20. And then another this. There we go. Because as long as the things are in range, we can actually knock things out with uh, Lele. We'll Flying Flip, we'll get two more prizes here. And then we get another two prizes next turn, I believe. And that should be GG. Revitalizer would be pretty dope here. Especially if he knocks out a uh, Dicidui. And no, apparently we can never get our Revitalizers on time. But this is a good matchup. Which is good. Is this going to be a long video? I'm not sure if this is going to be a long video. Because I'm cutting out like a good 20 minutes of the video. Maybe not 20 minutes. Maybe it's a little bit less than that. Uh, do we get game? I'm trying to think if we get game. I think we get game. I think we knock this out. Then we knock out what else, whatever else comes in for a GG. That's not true though. We have to get another DC if we want to guarantee a game. He's going to end me down to two, which is whatever. Not the greatest, but not the worst either. He gets a knockout here. If we get one more DC, then I think that's game. Sycamore is great here. Because that DCE will give me enough damage to knock out anything. Because I can knock this out and this out with 80 damage. Right? Yeah. Actually, no, I, I need one more DCE. Because I have to do, I think, both. I'm getting... I have to put both damage counters on the best one, yeah. So I have to make sure that... Um, Hold on, I gotta respond to this message. Yep, I'll meet you somewhere. Borrowing sister's car. Dope. So that should be GG, right? Can we top deck? Is that a possibility? Top deck? Nope. Uh, I'm gonna risk the Sycamore, but just in case, I'm gonna drop this. I'm just gonna go all in right now, like whatever. Because if we don't win this turn, we win, we win the next turn, and that's what matters. How many Seekers are left, just in case I need to keep that dope? And how many DCs are left? None! Huh. No more DCs. Okay, well, glad I double checked that. I think I win anyways, right? No, I don't. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to need my last DC. There's two. They're, okay, hold on. They're both prize. Where's my revitalizer? It's in the deck. Then how come I didn't get it? Okay, so they're both prized. So, no, there's only one prize, which means I have a 50% chance of winning this turn. <laughs> That's all it is. All right, 50% chance. Can you hook me up? 50% chance. Come on, give me the heads here. This last card I need to get has to be my DCE. 
Thank you. Okay, and that's how you do it. Okay, I think that's enough stress for one video. I'm pretty sure it's enough stress for one video. I thought things were prized. I apparently I'm like losing losing my sight at this point. Regardless, I really like the way this deck is right now. I'm definitely want to play a Skyla. Like I really because with with Lele, Skyla into the right card at the right moment of time is just way too good. And I found that in a multiple in multiple of these games, I wanted Skyla. Um, Seekers are kind of dead cards. Mm. Yeah, I want Skyla. I definitely want Skyla. So we'll play one of Skyla. This would be my final deck if I chose to play it. Um, so regardless, drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe, share, all that good jazz. Let me know what you think about the deck list. It's definitely a lot of fun. It beats a lot of decks. Like, we didn't get to use Miraculous Shine that game. We didn't really need to. I guess I could have Ultra Balled for Espeon from Miraculous Shine for game at one of those points of the game. I wasn't thinking about it if that was the case. Um, because once again, we don't have to do that much spread damage if we have Miraculous Shine. It's a combination of this with our current metagame um, that I, was the reason why I like this deck a lot. So drop a like, subscribe, share all the good jazz. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know what other decks I should play on the channel. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.